Imagine a time when the world stood on the brink of immense change, where skies were filled with swift, agile aircraft, and every superpower was racing to claim dominance. Amid this tension, one machine rose to become a guardian of the air, striking fear and respect in equal measure. This story takes us deep into the heart of Cold War ingenuity, to an era where the Soviet Union unveiled a marvel of military engineering, the 9K-33 OSAVE surface-to-air missile system. Stay with us as we journey into the history, design, and powerful legacy of the S-8 Gecko, a defender that has left its mark on decades of military history. The Cold War was more than just an arms race, it was a battle of minds, technology, and tactics. On one side, Western nations showcased their rapid advances in aircraft capable of low-altitude strikes. On the other, the Soviet Union knew it needed a weapon capable of countering these fast, agile threats. The solution was the 9K-33 OSA, meaning WASP in Russian, a name that perfectly captured its swift, stinging potential. Development of the 9K-33 began in 1965, with the NII-20 Research Institute spearheading the project. It took several years of careful planning and engineering, but by 1971, the OSA was ready for service. From that moment, it became a symbol of Soviet defensive strength, a wheeled and amphibious sentinel prepared to engage threats from the air. The OSA was like no other vehicle at the time. Picture a 19-ton behemoth, nearly the length of a bus at 9 meters long and 2.75 meters wide. Despite its size, it was not lumbering. Equipped with a powerful D-20K 300 diesel engine that delivered 300 horsepower, the OSA could race across rough terrains at speeds of up to 80 km per hour and navigate water at a modest 8 km per hour. Its six massive wheels were spaced evenly to provide stability over various landscapes, giving the OSA the flexibility to move quickly from point to point, even across rivers and marshes. One of the most fascinating elements of the 9K-33 was its dual nature, both fierce and agile. With a shallow, sleek hull design, the OSA minimized its profile against the horizon, making it a harder target to detect. But its true power lay in its armament, a set of six missile tubes, arranged in two groups of three, poised and ready to launch. The 9M33 missile was the heart of this system. Weighing 170 kilograms and stretching over 10 feet long, it packed a punch with a high-explosive fragmentation warhead. Each missile was guided by a solid propellant rocket booster, which allowed it to reach incredible speeds of over 1,000 meters per second. In a moment's notice, the OSA could lock onto a target, adjust its aim with precision, and unleash a missile that soared at the speed of sound. To understand just how effective the OSA was, consider its engagement capabilities. It could hit targets up to 9 miles away and as high as 39,000 feet, comparable to the cruising altitude of commercial jets today. This meant that whether the threat was a nimble fighter jet or a high-flying reconnaissance plane, the OSA had the range and speed to intercept. The radar system mounted on the OSA was as remarkable as the missiles it guided. Positioned over the vehicle's front center, the radar could scan the skies and direct the missiles with impressive accuracy. This combination of mobility, firepower, and radar precision made the OSA a versatile and feared part of the Soviet military's arsenal. The OSA's reputation was solidified in the heat of battle. In 1982, during the Lebanon Civil War, it demonstrated its might against aerial targets. Later, in the prolonged Angolan Civil War and the Persian Gulf War in 1991, the OSA continued to prove its value. Its distinctive roar and sudden launch were enough to make any approaching pilot wary. Over time, the OSA spread beyond the Soviet Union's reach. Countries such as Algeria, India, Syria, and Poland acquired it for their own defenses. In a striking example, Kuwait's OSA systems were seized by Iraq during the 1990 invasion and subsequently added to Iraq's arsenal. The OSA's reliability and success made it a common sight in Soviet-aligned and neutral states alike. In Eastern Europe, the story of the OSA continued even after the fall of the Soviet Union. When Czechoslovakia split, the Czech Republic inherited these powerful vehicles but phased them out by 2006 as newer technologies emerged. However, in places like Belarus and Poland, local modifications kept the OSA relevant in an ever-evolving military landscape. The development of different models and variants over the years further highlights the adaptability of the SAM system. The original model, the 9K-33, marked the beginning of the OSA legacy in 1972. NATO quickly took notice, dubbing it the SA-8A. The 9K-33M, also known as the SAN-4, was adapted for naval use, showing that the OSA could be more than just a ground-based threat. 
In 1975, the 9K-33M2 was introduced, sporting improved missiles and becoming known to NATO as the SA-8B Gecko Mod Zero. By 1980, the 9K-33M3 arrived with an extended engagement range, recognized as the SA-8B Gecko Mod 1. Export versions bore the name ROM, each variation tailored to suit the needs of specific nations and conflicts. The OSA's story didn't end in the 20th century. As modern conflicts arose, so too did the need for robust, reliable defense systems. The ongoing Syrian civil war, beginning in 2011 as part of the broader Arab Spring, brought the OSA back into the spotlight. Used by various factions, it demonstrated that even decades-old technology, when properly maintained and deployed, could still play a significant role. The 9K-33 OSA is not just a relic of history but a reminder of an era defined by rapid military advancements and strategic brilliance. It stands as a testament to human ingenuity, built in response to the specific needs of its time but adapted over decades to fit ever-changing theaters of war. To picture the OSA in action, think of a watchful sentry, always alert, always ready to protect the skies above. The sudden roar of its engine, the hum of the radar searching for signs of danger, and the swift, powerful launch of a missile are scenes that remind us of the lengths nations go to for security and dominance. Today, even with more sophisticated and modern missile defense systems available, the story of the OSA continues to be studied and respected. Its legacy lies not just in its victories but in its resilience, a quality that has kept it relevant through generations of warfare. Military enthusiasts and historians alike look at the OSA and see more than just a machine, they see an enduring piece of Cold War history that continues to evolve. The 9K-33 OSA serves as a lesson in innovation. It shows how necessity drives invention and how strategic thinking can result in technologies that last beyond their initial purpose. With its ability to adapt and inspire further developments, the OSA has firmly planted itself in the annals of military engineering. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of the 9K-33 OSA the relentless guardian of Soviet and allied skies. If you found this exploration fascinating, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more deep dives into military history and technology. Like this video, share your thoughts in the comments, and stay tuned for more stories that unveil the secrets of legendary machines.